And we're going to end up for the little bit of a quick fire round. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I wouldn't like to say that I'm fasting, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go easy, maybe, go easy. Maybe we should have started with this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is just to, just some there's simple questions, but whatever comes first to mind. And I think we already know the answer to a few of these. Allah but, forgive uh, us. <laughs> we'll start off with Apple or Samsung? Samsung. I notice you've got the S21 on. I have the... nothing, I have nothing against Apple, just so that people know. <laughs> uh, I'm not a hater. <laughs> But uh, the only problem is the apple is bitten. Have you noticed? Yeah. I like full apples. So I, I just go for a Samsung. <laughs> That's the best uh, explanation I've had so yeah. far. Some people say apple are rotten to the core. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. Uh, tea or coffee? Tea. Tea? Yes. Okay. And any particular type of tea? Well, Karak chai? Uh, probably Karak, but not all the time. Okay. It depends, yeah. But tea with some with some milk at least, even if it's a tot, a little bit of it. Yeah. Now you've uh, Alhamdulillah experienced a few different things. Um, uh, I would say like a as a daredevil, but uh, <laughs> jetpacking or jumping out of a plane. Uh, both of them. I, I'd love I'd love to try the jetpacking. Subhanallah. <laughs> I think you, I think the jetpacking. There's not many people who have tried that. So. That's oh, you that's you need a bit of training, you know. So I'm in the process of of uh, training uh, for the solo skydive, inshallah. I, I have about eight hours, tandem. inshallah. Yeah, t t from yeah. the tandem to solo. To, to solo, inshallah. I haven't. I, I, I yeah. One of my friends just did it, and inshallah, I'm next. I hope. Inshallah. inshallah. Looking forward to that. I'm, I, I'm looking I, for the time yeah. to do that. Yeah. When I did the one, my beard was everywhere. Yeah. So I I I mean, how was that experience for you? I, I didn't need a mask. I just <laughs> it came up and covered my nose. So I was fine. <laughs> so fine. Um, uh, this one I actually know the answer to, but uh, I'm gonna ask it anyway because it's here on the list. UK or Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe. Oh, that was an I easy mean, word. Yeah, we can't even be offended about that. No. <laughs> and not I. I love the UK. Yeah. It's a lovely place. I, I married here. My children and everyone for years. I've been married here for the last uh, almost uh, you know more than two decades. But I, my work is in Zimbabwe and whatever I've done has, uh, you know, uh, been there initially. So I've chosen to live there. Maybe one day, who knows? Now within Zimbabwe, Harare or Bulawayo? Harare, straight. Easy. That was, yeah. that was very quick. Even a blink. He has family in Bulawayo. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what I was trying to see. Yeah. Which side you're going to be? Yeah. So. Bulawayo is very calm, relaxed, slow, laid back. Mm -hmm. And Harare is a little bit quicker than that. Slightly. One notch up. Yeah. Instagram or Twitter? They're both unique, meaning it's different things. Instagram is more the pictorial and Twitter is more the... But say you you could only use one because you were blocked on one of them. Which one would you prefer to be blocked on? <laughs> I would prefer not to, to be, be blocked. blocked. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But look, I tell you what, uh, I have a larger following on Twitter. Okay. But uh, Instagram's catching up. I probably have about 10 million, maybe just under 10 million on Twitter and... I think about uh, five and a half on Instagram, but yeah. I have more than one Instagram page. Okay. Yeah. One is verified and the other one is just the quotes. So it's okay. called Mufti Menk Reminders. Okay. Nice. Inshallah. Love yeah. you to follow that as well. Okay. The next one. Habib or Hezbollah? Both of them. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're asking me so <laughs> tough questions, you know? Sometimes, <laughs> when, <laughs> sometimes when you know these guys personally or you know them, yeah. Yeah. you wouldn't like to hurt anyone's feelings. Say, okay, this guy. I mean, come on, you're going to meet the other guy. Say, ah, just go away, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Khabib would be all right if you said yeah. Hezbollah. Yeah, I think he chooses Hezbollah. But would Hezbollah be all right okay, if you yeah, said Khabib? <laughs> exactly. So the thought of all of it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. The, the last two are easy ones. Do you, any favorite food? Not necessarily. I, actually, I'm I'm not a foodie. I, I enjoy good food, but I don't mind any type of decent food. It's okay. as long as a hot meal, and it's it's nice and decent. Alhamdulillah, I, I don't. I'm not fussed about food. I I believe that Allah's provided so many different things, and yeah, people. It's not wrong to have a favorite food. A guy like me, mashallah, there's a lot of things that I don't mind. Yeah, well, okay then. Biryani or mandi then? Less. Mandi. Mandi. Oh, that's See, that was because exactly. <laughs> yeah, meaning that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mandi, mandi is, and the reason is, uh, I enjoy biryani too. I really do. But I don't eat spicy. Spice. I mean, me and spice don't get along. We we can't. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm compelled to because, you know, that's what's been served. But I prefer not to. Now, the last one we've got here is uh, the favorite book you've read. Now, obviously, we have the Quran, but apart from... That. Is there any particular book that you would recommend that you've read? 
you know, someone's asked me this before and I, it's come to the same response. There's a book where the ahadith that are muttafaq alayh uh, are all gathered in one. So n- not Bukhari, not Muslim, but those which are muttafaq alayh, but which are, were narrated by both of them. And uh, it's called Al-Lu'u Wal-Marjan Fi Mattafaq Alayhi Shaykhan. Simple book, but it's very interesting why I say it is when you're reading that book with uh, with, with the, the consciousness that everything I'm reading here is muttafaq alayh. Yeah, trust me, it hits a different chord. And, yes. and it moved me because I end up shivering to think, wow, this is actually solid, man, you know. Mufti Mek, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to have you on and thank you for your time. We've, mm. we've, I've learned so much personally as well. Barakallah yeah. Fiqh, thank you so much. And I really appreciate, uh, you know, this particular uh, podcast that we've had. At the same time, I must say, the ummah out there is really going through challenging times. People are struggling, suffering. People have lost jobs, you know, post-corona, and the economy 